Hello and welcome to the final video of AWS Certified AI Practitioner Bootcamp. On behalf of the Cloud Expert Solution team, I would like to thank you for joining us and exploring this video. Today we will review the exam scope, share resources for additional practice test and walk you through the certification sign up process. We will also show you how to get a 50% discount on the exam fee and how to unlock an extra 30 minutes for the test. Let's finish strong. First, let's clarify what's on the exam and what's not. Open the AWS exam guide with me. We reviewed the exam guide in the first module of this bootcamp. Now I'll scroll down to page number 12, where we'll find the list of in scope and the out scope services. Here are the in scope. In analytics, you need AWS Data Exchange, EMR, Glue, DataBrew, Lake Formation, OpenSearch, QuickSight, Redshift. Similarly, if you scroll below, you have all the databases, machine learning, also management and governance, CloudTrail, CloudWatch, Config, Trusted Advisor, Well Architected Tool. Followed by security and compliance, artifact, audit manager, IAM, inspector, KMS, Amazon Messi, and secrets manager. Now, if we will review the out of the scope services, that means you don't have to learn the services, the list is significant. Starting with analytics, AWS clean rooms, AWS cloud search, AWS fin space, and so on. One point I would like to bring to your attention and if we will go to the security services, you will find Amazon Guard Duty, AWS WAF and AWS Shield, those are listed as out of scope. But believe me, I have seen exam questions where AWS Guard Duty was actually the correct answer. But don't worry, we have already covered the essential AWS security services and provided a brief overview in this bootcamp series. If you have followed that module, you should be well prepared to answer any related questions. Next, we will review AWS Skill Builder. If you haven't created your account already, now it's time to create your account with AWS Skill Builder. And please remember, you need that Skill Builder ID to register for the certification exam. From Google, type AWS Skill Builder. The first search result should be the official website link for AWS Skill Builder. Although Skill Builder landing page is saying to purchase subscription either via monthly mode or annual mode, but you don't need to purchase any subscription. Just create the free account. Once you have created the free account, you can join this video with me. This is the AWS Skill Builder landing page and if you are following this video, I presume you have already created the account or you already have one. Now from the search option, please type AIF C01, which is the official exam code and search. You will see lot of other courses. You don't have to consider about any of the courses. Please go to official practice question set and I have already reviewed that is why for me it is showing completed. Now you can click since I have already completed that is why it is showing me you have completed this course but for you I will retake this course. The first couple of sections to describe how to navigate through this course or how to use this software. You can review if this is your first time but if you have already used AWS Skill Builder then you can review this and come at the end where you have official question set for AWS certified AI practitioner. It will give you 20 questions that you can use as your exam prep or to find out your preparation for this certification. I will access the question set. I need to log in with skill builder ID. AWS has single sign on or SSO implemented. You don't have to log in for the second time. It should automatically take you through this certification. Here you can see we have 20 questions, but the number of attempt is unlimited. So you can see more and then you can start the exam. Now here you have all those literature you can read and then start. 
once you will start you have all the 20 questions you can take this practice test and measure how prepared you are if you are getting consistently maybe more than 85 percent or 95 percent i would say you are prepared for the certification let's schedule your certification exam to schedule the aws certification i'll go to aws certification website under get certified you can schedule your exam now i'll click schedule your exam now from the left hand side here you will see your exam history certifications and all now this is the option for exam registration now the second option exam accommodations where you can add 30 minutes now if i'll click this i already have plus 30 minute enabled for my profile whenever i'll schedule any aws certifications i will get that additional 30 minutes now if i'll click that request accommodation i'll not see anything else but if you haven't already enabled you should see that additional 30 minutes or esl 30 minutes please enable before registering your certification sometimes aws certification might take 24 hours to make that available for your profile now under eligible exams here are the list of exams that you can schedule. For me, all the AWS certification exams are available. Pay attention on the certification code here. For this certification, AWS certified AI practitioner, the code is AIFC01. Either review the certification name or the code of the certification. Please do not schedule any other certification because it's very easy to schedule a different certification if you will not pay attention. I'll click schedule. It will take me to Pearson view website and I have two options. Either I can schedule in a Pearson view test center or online from your workspace from your home. Please review guidelines for both the modes. I'll select in person at test center. Then click next. First I'll select the language. Then click next. Here I have the terms and conditions. I need to agree with the terms and conditions. Based on your location, it is going to retrieve all the test centers near to you. But before proceeding there, let me show you how you can get 50% discounts. For that, if you have already passed any AWS certifications, you can go to benefits. Here are the certification benefits. And here you can see I have all those benefits. Now, I have already redeemed these benefits. That is why these are the voucher codes. Now, let me copy this. Again, I have already used. Don't try to use this one. It is not going to work. But let me show you how it will work for you. Please remember, if you have already passed any AWS certification, you should have a voucher with a validity period. And please try to use that before it expires. Now, let's assume I have selected some test center. Next, I have to select the available date and time. Since I'm not scheduling an actual exam, I'll go with any available slot. Here you will see the total charge of that certification for AI practitioner in US dollar, it is $100. If you are taking from India, you should see different amount for you. Now I'll proceed to check out. And here I'm going to add the promotional code. This code I have already used. That is why it is going to say that it is expired but if you have a valid code you should see a 50 percent discount from the exam price here you go it is saying the voucher is already used so i won't be able to use that next you will provide your credit card details or form of payment and you are going to schedule the certification once you have scheduled successfully you should receive one email with the scheduling number and the date and time also with the location now the next i would like to share some tips with you which will make sure that you are passing the certification at first attempt. The first, the day before exam. You should drink plenty of water and try to take less water on the exam day because you don't want to go to restroom multiple times and waste your time. If you are taking that certification from a test center, you can use the restroom, but your clock will not be paused. But if you are taking online, you are not allowed to take any break. Have a good night's sleep and don't stretch up or have late night study on the day before. Please reach the center at least 30 minutes early. In United States, locating the test center is very difficult. 
it will be inside any building or inside any shopping mall so please make sure you reach at least 30 minute early or else you are going to add additional stress for you just before the certification next the exam day tip don't forget to bring two form of ids if you are taking that certification from online or from any test center if you are opting for online proctoring please make sure you test your webcam or microphone before the certification they won't allow any form of notes pen any electronics not even watch or even second monitor last but not least this is very vital time management you will have 65 questions and you will get 90 minutes but if you have 30 minutes additional in that case you will have 120 minutes so on an average you should have one to two minutes per question please remember that if you found any tough question and you are not sure what that answer please flag that question skip it and revise later don't waste your time or don't bog down on that question for five or six minutes and last but not least i have tried to teach you process of elimination in that certification you will find at least two to three questions what you do not know the answer please try to narrow down the wrong answers first and you should be able to find out two or one closest answer by the method of process of elimination that was all congratulations you have made it to the final video of our aws ai practitioner bootcamp you have worked so hard for this celebrate your win when you pass tag us on linkedin or twitter you can tag us using has cloud expert solution for linkedin so that we can cheer you on thank you for joining this journey now go is the certification i believe in you until next time 